every once in a while, Fox News will run out of things to talk about. So what they'll do is they will go fishing for content by looking for reasons to be outraged. And one of the areas where they often find what they're looking for is AOC's Instagram feed. Uh, this time, there's a video of her cooking where she's casually discussing politics, and they did not like what she had to say. But I really like this clip and where they talk about AOC because they ended up making fools of themselves when they accidentally made a left-wing point in responding to AOC. This was great. Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez takes to Instagram, yeah, to cook lemon pasta with salmon for followers and then using the platform to respond to critics that call her radical. Take a look. You know, shout out to my fellow radicals who think that, you know, we should live in a humane, advanced society. Um, and that we shouldn't be under the thumb of a $7 minimum wage and, you know, racist systems because, I don't know, because that just benefits whoever the people are in power to already be in power. So, you know, shout out to my radicals. Now, this morning, she posted a video on Twitter highlighting which parts of her first term radical agenda she was able to achieve. Take a look. I authored and introduced the Green New Deal with Senator Ed Markey and secured 115 House and Senate co-sponsors on it. Regional versions of the Green New Deal were also adopted by 10 local governments, including the state of New Mexico and cities of Austin, Los Angeles, New York City, Boston, and more. We unveiled the Green New Deal for public housing, which would invest up to $180 billion over 10 years. We got President Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, to state on the record that uh, President Trump was engaging in tax fraud and to name other potential witnesses. Witnesses. On the presidential campaign, I co-chaired the Climate Unity Task Force with Secretary Kerry to help shape President-elect Biden's $2 trillion climate policy. Meanwhile, yesterday, she knocked Biden's agenda, saying it, quote, had, oh, it's a little hazy, citing a lack of a cohesive vision uh, across his ca uh, cabinet. Here with the reaction. Fox News contributors Jason Chaffetz and Tammy Bruce, Bruce are with us. Well, you know, looking at the court decision tonight, Tammy, and understanding its likely ramifications in a lot of ways, uh, one has to wonder, is America really ready for what is about to hit them if this now becomes the law of the land? Well, look, I think that, first of all, calling Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez a, a, a radical is an insult to actual radicals. This nation is the radical idea. Our Constitution is radical. The last radicals we saw were in the mid-1700s, our founders. Radicalism is coming up with something completely new that sets people free. She is not a radical. She is someone who is spewing platitudes for a failed idea, for a failed system to, well, effectively trick people into thinking she represents something. It is an ignorant point of view. You can ask the people of Venezuela about her kind of radicalism. Uh, there is nothing radical about the failed communist states uh, that have destroyed people's lives. She has been misled. Her cohorts have been misled. And Americans want a future they can count on. That is what is in front of the Supreme Court right now. Not that young woman cooking some salmon over Instagram. Well, she said Venezuela, so case closed. All you have to do in response to a socialist is say Venezuela. And it's like a magical spell. It like shuts them down and capitalism automatically wins. It's like the most persuasive argument you can use as a capitalist. Vuvuzela. <laughs> they have to come up with better material. I don't think that they've realized that Venezuela, like, Saying that in response to someone who's making a somewhat socialist argument, it's a meme at this point. You have to find new material. Um, but I just got a comment before we get to Tammy Bruce. Sean Hannity, like, you can actually hear the disgust in his voice when he's talking about what she's making. Like, she's making lemon pasta with salmon. Like, you can tell he wants to be doing something better. Like, he wants something more intellectually stimulating. And Fox News usually does this. Like, they'll, they'll clip out... A portion of AOC saying something and they'll bring on a guest to attack her because they don't have anything else to talk about and you could tell that like he's bored with this like he's not as outraged as he's leading on 
Having said that, though, I will say that the feelings that he expressed when talking about lemon pasta with salmon, I kind of felt that way as well because I'm, that doesn't sound great to me. Uh, but having said that, we have to get to what Tammy Bruce said. Her point here is stunning. Calling AOC a radical is an insult to actual radicals. So she makes the point that AOC in actuality isn't a radical. All right, let's hear her out. This nation is a radical idea. Our constitution is radical. AOC is not a radical. Interesting. So you concede to the point then that it's not actually radical to think that the government shouldn't let its citizens die if they don't have health care, that we should be guaranteed an education. Like you don't think that these things are radical because that's what she believes in. So if you're saying she's not a radical, you're making our point for us that it's not radical to think that human beings deserve these basic things. And she's actually right about this. It isn't radical to think that healthcare should be a right because these are things that aren't controversial even to conservatives in other countries. So if you look at the UK, the Tories don't think that guaranteed healthcare is radical. Sure, they want to chip away at it and privatize more and more of it, but the basic idea that healthcare is a right that's not radical. It's not controversial. Conservatives in Canada, they believe that healthcare should be a right. It's not radical. It's only radical here because the political spectrum is so far to the right that as a far right winger in the United States, like looking to someone who's saying that healthcare should be free at the point of service, that sounds radical to you because of your perspective. But in actuality, it's really not radical. Like it's not radical to think that the government should provide us with basic things. You believe that as well. Otherwise, you think that we shouldn't have roads that we drive on. We shouldn't have a military, right? Because this is the social contract. Like, we give the government our money, our tax dollars, and in turn, there's this expectation that we get services in exchange for that money in return, right? Our government is supposed to protect us. That's why we have a military. We will be secure physically in our homes. We don't have to worry about foreign invaders, right? Now, our government's military takes it a little bit extreme because we are an empire, but in general, the basic idea is we give government money in exchange for services, protect us from invaders, make sure that we have clean drinking water and breathable air. So why, why can't we demand healthcare? The basic expectation, what is minimally required of government is to take care of their citizens, make sure that they don't die. And in this country, thousands of Americans die every single year because they don't have health care. And we're not talking about access to affordable health care. I'm talking about health care, period. This is only controversial here because we live in a late stage capitalist society. So I really appreciate Tammy Bruce making this point because she's right. AOC is not a radical. It's not a radical idea to think that we deserve to survive as human beings, that we should have food to eat, water to drink, and health care. Now, I love another point that she made because it, it's so... It's so ironic that I don't even know how to respond to it. Uh, AOC isn't a radical, but she is someone who's spewing platitudes for a failed idea. You're the one who's spewing platitudes. Like, what is it that right-wingers believe? I have no idea. I know that they don't like socialism, and I know that they think Venezuela bad, but what do you believe? Like, what policies would you implement? Would you just leave, leave things as is? I mean, the planet is dying. We have people, you know, facing an eviction crisis. So, of course, you have to believe that some action, even if it's just the bare minimum, should be taken. So, what's your belief? Freedom. Liberty. I mean, the right wing uh, in America, they are nothing but platitudes. They don't believe in anything. They just have a commitment to this vague idea of freedom. But for whatever reason, that doesn't extend to freedom to like be alive and not die if you don't have health care. It's amazing to me. Uh, last thing that I want to touch on that she said is um, basically she ended up contradicting herself and midpoint she realized it and she ended up just confusing herself. So she says, you can ask the people of Venezuela about her kind of radicalism. So she's thinking, fuck, I just said she's not a radical, and now I'm saying she is radical. But then she says, um, after saying that you can ask the people of Venezuela about her kind of radicalism, uh, there's nothing radical about the failed communist states that have destroyed people's lives. Stop for a moment and think about that sentence. Let's, let's read it again. You can ask the people of Venezuela about her kind of radicalism. There's nothing radical 
about the failed communist states that have destroyed people's lives. So you're saying that communism isn't radical? Like if Tammy Bruce were a Pokemon, she would have hurt herself in her confusion. And yes, that is my first millennial dad joke. <laughs> so she she is a radical, but she also isn't a radical. And communist regimes that destroy people's lives aren't radical. Tammy, let's workshop this a little bit more. <laughs> I, I think that, you know, she really, she was trying to make a point about how AOC, you know, she she's just trotting out the same tired thing that we've heard, but in actuality, the point that you've made is our point for us. So thank you so much. Because yeah, AOC isn't a radical. It's not radical to ask that the government use our tax dollars and actually help us rather than bombing other countries abroad. That's not radical. So I agree with you, Tammy. Thank you. Carry on.